Hello again, everybody. This is Jim with Atlas. And today we're going to um, present number two in our Gardening Basics series, Keeping It Going. As far as watering goes, uh, as we reach midsummer and beyond, the real warm weather hits, um, try to water your plants where the roots are, right on top of those and down. Um, check your soil before you water, make sure it is dry, at least a couple inches down. Um, water in the morning, uh, of course, water evaporates throughout the day, especially as the sun comes up. Water slowly, so you get that water deep down uh, into the root base. Um, make you know every drop counts. So uh, you know, water in place. Don't water areas that aren't you aren't growing anything. Um, also, don't overwater. Uh, root rot is a real possibility. In fact, a lot more plants tend to die from overwatering than under. Um, don't let them uh, go completely dry um, either. That stresses the plants and you'll get uh, a lot lower harvest. Use mulch um, to conserve water, to keep water in place. As far as weeding goes, try as best you can not to leave roots behind or the weeds grow right back. So have the right tools to get down deep, loosen the soil, get those roots out. Um, watering after a rain, after a rain or Weeding after a rain or watering first um, tends to help the roots come out easier. Um, keep a garden fork or a trowel or some sort of tool with you as you're going around. Um, use a stirrup hoe, um, which is pictured down here. Um, when you have a lot of weeds, um, you're gonna have that back and forth action. If you have a lot of weeds that you need to deal with, you can't pull them one by one. As far as pests go, um, three main rules as far as pests, and that is prevention, number one, uh, try to keep uh, pests away from your, uh, your crops um, with, uh, of course, with fencing and netting and, and those sorts of things. Um, control, uh, especially with uh, insects, you can spray um, certain chemicals on plants or certain preventative uh, mixes on plants to control and, and keep the pests from getting in place to begin with. Eradication um, is kind of the last resort where you're gonna use an insecticide or in the case of slugs and snails, um, slug bait. As far as harvesting goes, harvest your crops at the peak of ripeness because it's at the peak of ripeness that you have the peak of flavor and nutrition. Um, don't harvest things early because you'll have lower, well, lower flavor and lower nutrient base. Um, harvest for size, and I say this for most things, that does not include zucchini and uh, things like uh, um, cucumbers. They'll grow as long as you let them go. So harvest at, not um, for size for the most part, but at the right size. Um, harvest often. Make sure you, you don't have things going bad while you're waiting for other things to come up, to become right. Um, harvest with the right tools. You wanna, you know, a sharp knife or scissors rather than trying to rip things out of the plant. You may damage your plants. Um, harvest under the right conditions. Um, uh, on, a, on a cooler day is a good time to harvest so you don't get as much stress on the plants as you harvest. Um, harvest as far as leafy plants go. Um, harvest the larger outer leaves first um, and let the, the inner smaller leaves um, continue growing. As far as preserving goes, your choice as to whether you want to do canning or freezing or dehydrating. Um, canning is much a much larger process. We could have a, an entire discussion on, on, on canning. Um, but as far as freezing your food and dehydrating, you want to get a, I really recommend um, Ziploc bags or better yet, a uh, vacuum, um, vacuum bags where you can vacuum out the air before you freeze and after you dehydrate things. Also now, um, as we enter uh, midsummer, it's time to plan winter crops. If you're going to grow those, these are some items that grow well in cooler um, conditions, even into frost. Um, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, all your cruciferous vegetables. They kind of have a natural 
um, antifreeze in them. Um, green onions, leafy lettuces, kale, leeks, Swiss chard, radishes, as far as root crops go, carrots grow really well in colder weather. So consider, um, you know, it's not just a spring thing when you're planting, um, you can plant uh, a winter garden as we enter midsummer. Thanks for joining again, everybody. Look forward to talking to you again about health and nutrition. Um, and as always, stay well.